This channel is proudly partnered with the What The Funk Shop. Please check out their store for all sorts of products. They have miniatures, dice, game master screens, home decorations, and many other things. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. And make sure that you use my code for a special discount. This channel is proudly sponsored by Dead Tree Studios, the publishers and developers of The Aims of Astoria, a tabletop RPG where you play as monster girls, experiencing high adventure in a world that doesn't fully accept them. They have recently released the Whispers of Copperidge Adventure module. You will find the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Hellborn. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this tabletop RPG where you play as fallen angels, demons and lost souls in a hell touched by cybernetics, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the calling of the void. With the Treaty of Pandemonium signed by the Archdemons, preparations have begun for pursuing a more subtle way of bringing heaven down. After many arguments have occurred within the newly formed Stygian Council, while some of its members found the idea of a total war against heaven as the best solution, now as a mostly unified force, others disagreed with the idea, bringing arguments as to how it would cause more damage to hell itself. Lucifer, now titled the Supreme Emperor of Hell, personally watched over the progress Hell was making post treaty with the help of his ring and the other ruling archdemons following his guidance. Although a dreaded presence within the Seven Rings, Abaddon the Destroyer chose to let Lucifer continue his work to unite and civilize the Seven Rings, even though he perceived the Lightbringer and his ruling as a major obstacle in his mission to destroy the heavens once and for all. As Lucifer was busy with the unification of the rings, Abaddon pursued a more secretive goal, to harness dark energy from the afterlife, and from demons that either offered themselves as a sacrifice, or were forcefully taken by his followers to gain more power required to bring down the heavens through a way more direct than the plans made by the council. The answer to his task was within the pride ring itself, the root of all evil. Ever since the afterlife was separated by Javeh into heaven and hell, the root stood up in the center of hell as a reminder of the darkness that lies within both mortal and spirit, a tower made of pure unfiltered infernium, and volcanic rocks and minerals emerging from Mount Hades, and standing over hundreds of kilometers tall, piercing through the storm and creating the equilibrium of the afterlife. The task of harvesting the root proved to be an easy one, as even if its corrupting force was held back by the light generated by the fallen angels within the pride ring, it was not bordered and could have been accessed at the risk of anyone, angel or demon, suffering an agonizing end at the hands of the corruption, just what the destroyer needed. With easy access to the root of all evil and a group of devoted followers, Abaddon traveled the cool tundras of the sloth ring, the healing forests of the pride ring, and the blasted wastelands of the region surrounding the root and was corrupted by the infernium generated by its strength, nicknamed by the locals as the Heart of Darkness. Since the storm negated the effects of the darkness, Abaddon decided that purgatory will be sufficient enough to siege and start the first demonic incursion into heaven after untold millennia. And with the psychic barrier between hell and purgatory destroyed, the first stage of the war had begun. And this concludes this part of the review, in the next part we are going to talk about the afterlife war. As you can see, the intrigues, the betrayals, and the underhanded methods and power plays are the stuff of everyday life or unlife in hell. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, consider joining as a member or using the super thanks button. You can also check out the pin in the comment below. This has been Abraham L. Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. 
And remember, in tabletop RPGs, you are not telling stories about your characters. You are experiencing the game world as your characters. Once again, thank you and see you later.